Okay, so welcome to episode 25 of the Raid series. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be going to Woods. Um, we've got two shotguns. I haven't finished getting them ready yet, but um, not much left to do. I'm going to put this on top of it. And we're going to try and get some of the quests done for here. We don't need our, our keys for this raid. We don't need to buy Iskra, Iskra uh, large boxes. We need two of these. And we also need um, going without our armor on. Also taking the ray bench. It's a fair bit to get done in, in woods at the moment. Um, SH. Mark? Where was Schmark? S. Not Schmark. SHM. Anyway, um, go to gear, base covers, Schmark. Oops. So we need Schmark. Uh, and then we also need to get the Ghost Bell Clava. And we need the round sunglasses. We've got, this is a Ragman task as well. Um, and we need to kill Skaz without wearing body armors, but we can wear helmets. Now let's look at the time for the moment. It is night time. I actually want to try and do this at night time. So Skaz are absolutely useless at night time. So we're going to go Ragman level 2. We're going to get our 6B helmet on here. Uh, we're going to go Link Searched because it's the easiest way of doing it by one of these. Got the right one. Go Link Search on this. Hopefully it's not this stupidly. Oh, no, that's right. Yep. Um, and we can either have the Monocular or the... PVT 10, whatever it is. Oop, link search. And then it should be this one. This is uh, a pretty cool one. Right, so that goes on there, that goes on there, that goes on there and there. Now, this is something I haven't really advertised much and I really, really, really don't... I hope it doesn't change. Right, because this is something I love and not many people know about it. AP-20 rounds are actually relatively cheap. Now, it's 320 a round, but you don't fire that many rounds at a time. Now, there's the AP-20, and then there's the Flechettis. Flechettis. Try to spell it like that. All right. Now, these are better for close range, AP-20 for long range. An AP-20 round can one-tap at AVS rig, as you saw in an earlier episode, but it also the Flechettis are really good at just decimating rigs as well. Um, I hope they don't just smash the prices up heaps, but for a... Uh, for a a run here for example this is actually pretty sweet you know what i mean like you can um you can go do a run and pretty sweet you don't have to worry about heaps of money on ammunition this is like a really good budget gun and i haven't made a video about it already i'll be talking about ammunition in a, in a guide coming up or it might already be out as well as budget guns and this is going to be on it shotgun with ap20 or flechetti ammos and just decimating that way because of just the impact it does Anyway, let's crack into a, uh, a woods run. We need to get those 10 scavs. We're going to drop off all that stuff. Uh, we're going to drop off the water and the stuff in the bunkers. We need to kill the 10 scavs. And then uh, 7 scavs with not wearing body armor. You can wear a helmet. And if we're lucky, uh, it's the dropping off the other stuff. And uh, if we're lucky, we'll get the, uh, the therapist quest or uh, get the, the folder. So let's crack into it. All right, so the reason why I'm doing a nighttime raid for uh, woods, killing scabs without armor, is the fact that when you fight scabs at nighttime, generally their their aggro range is a lot less. So I can get away with doing a lot more at nighttime, as well as I need to place down all these uh, items. Uh, the bunker's right here, actually. I should do the bunker first. I have to place down these items, and I don't want to run into the risk of... Um, players seeing me as I'm placing down these orders, particularly the ones on the piers. I'm not used to wearing contacts. I don't know if I want to or not. Maybe I'll do it when I get closer to uh, threats. Now, Woods is a very strange map um, when it comes to combat because it's like, it's not as easy and straightforward as just going, oh, just do this and go here and aim down here. It's, it's not one of those maps like Factory um, because of just how far everything is spread apart and the different angles and people with thermals and all that good stuff. It's just a really brutal map. Now, you don't need the key to place down these two. Um, a lot of people say that you need the key to get in here. Um, no, you just got to place it in this corner. 
So when you go to place down these items, just remember you don't need a key. Uh, it's like the second Jaeger quest anyway, so it's pretty early on. Um, after we place down both of these, we'll go straight down to the pier. Try and get down, uh, get those four items dropped off. What else do we have to do? I think... Kill scars, really. We're just going to hunt down those scars. We could probably even go down to the... Um, to the scab house just where we spawned again. Maybe this was... That was a footstep. Could have been a player just outside. Why is he struggling to get up the staircase? I'm not hallucinating. My tripping balls here. My God. I mean, just a scav walking past. This is pretty ballsy if someone's got a thermal or, you know, even just... Oh God. Go to the right. Three. I just want to get over there quickly. Players will generally be along that right-hand side. That's why I keep looking to the right. Because uh, it's still pretty early in. We could go up to the mark circle and all that stuff. I'm not really that phased on it right now. I'd rather get my quest done. I just saw someone walking over here. I did. Of course, he now has probably seen me, but I can't see him. Nope, that wasn't him. The other one maybe about scab reactions are a bit slower at night time. Already gone through a few bit, bit of ammo. I think we've got one more. We have to get without armor on. I think that's six. Six. Good start if we get seven straight off the bat.
Hmm. They usually spawn really rapidly around this house. The reason why I want to get the last one is so I can pick up that armor right there. The class 4 armor. That little stutter then could have been a spawn. Trying to bait them a little bit by standing out in the open. Oh. Looks like we miss out. Get moving. We might get lucky by the scav house. Uh, sorry, the, the suppressor hut. Might be able to get one there. So we're going to push straight down to the pier now. Keep an ear out for uh, Scav running around. We get that those four items down. It takes a lot of stress off me. Because uh, <laughs> I, I hate the fact that I've got uh, all these items that I have to place down in the open. Flash drive spawns at this tent. Hard to point out where it is. But um, I'll have a map come up anyway so you can see it. I still need cigarettes for bad habit. I'm not up to it yet. Not up to it yet. Alright, let's just get him anyway. Now, if anyone's got a thermal, I'm fucked. Pretty much how this works here. You run out into the middle of a pier. Takes you like a minute 20 to place all four items. If anyone's got a thermal, you're dead. So from here, we'll go straight into the lumber mill. We'll try and pick off the last, was it four scavs we need? Grab the item that we're after in the middle. Then we're going to head over to the bunker on the other side. We don't have to get all four scavs in the middle. Um, there's definitely going to be some scavs towards the other bunker. So usually one to three will be out that way. Um... Now, when you, every time you place down an item, if you've got multiple items to place down at the same spot, double tap tab, and that will make it a lot faster for you. So, yeah. Um, I'd much rather go nighttime woods than daytime. Pretty much, I hate going woods. It's my least liked map. Mostly because it's either farmed with thermals or... Uh, the scav boss is brutal. He's actually probably the hardest scav boss. And what else? Yeah. This is what it is, you know. That's why I try and stack up as many quests as well at the same time. Four woods. So I'm not just sitting here doing the uh, same thing. Oh, sorry, just going into woods over and over again to one quest at a time. Right now we've got like six, five, six quests we're doing at the same time. Pretty sweet. There is more coming as well that we could have waited for, but I think I've got to kill 10. I really want to get this Punisher, uh, this Punisher series done as quickly as possible. The killing 10 PMCs might be based over like three or four episodes. I don't know yet. Depends on how lucky we get with the PMC killing. All right, so now that all those items are placed, I'm going to put that on. i walk now. Those two items combined are worth about 50, 60k. Search your jackets for keys. Get a good key, you'll make a million rubles. That's not a good key. There is that one. That one. 
Apparently it's looking a bit like this outside. There was a lot of shooting early. So noisy with these contact on. If we can just get one more. I'll be happy. Get one more in the lumber mill. That was a play for sure. Plate scav. The best armor, but it's armor. Holy shit. Okay. Um, shit. Thank. Need all that. There one there anyway. Be for your loom. And got a knife. more cash. We might grab a little bit of extra um, ammo if we can from this guy. Let's we run low. First items located underneath this. Look for keys. Screws worth 10k each. It got messy, didn't it? Nice and quick. Uh, we'll get out of this area. I'm going to look at the Punisher quest now. That one's done. Punishers. We've got that one done. We've got the item to hand in. I'm not sure we need two more. And then we'll secure a file. So all we have to do is kill two more scabs and drop off those items. Mm, sun's starting to come up a little bit. Moving nice and quick. Look for sniper scab on the way up. Most likely be dead. Can't see him yet. I usually just look for the silhouette right there. Oh, there he is. We can get him. Fuck. There he is. 
And he's fallen. One to go. A PSKS, I'll take that. Bit of insurance fraud. Mm, if I was to get rid of anything, it would be that. One more scab. And job done. In this case as well. He's got armor on by the looks of it. Ooh, it's gazelle. Push his mustache. Holy shit, that's a geared scat. What you can do here. Not that big a deal, but it does that up. Really want to min max. Alright, we are going to go straight to the bunker, drop off the next two items, and then get the feck out of here. Avoid that play to the right. And to find the bunker, it might be all right if it's lit up with green smoke. But if it's not, the big concrete brick, sorry, the big brick house, you can kind of see the brick house from it. It's like brick house, big pile of rocks, and then the bunker in the uh, in the bushes. You don't need to hug the fence when you're going down to it. I actually trying to avoid hugging the fence because of, um, most people hug the fence so they know where they're going. You'll run into players more. And people will ambush you more there too. Okay, it's going to be up ahead in the low ground. So you can see the green smoke here. But normally if there's no green smoke, the best way you can spot it. Brick house is like here. Just there. That's the roof of it there. Big rocks, poles here. And then you come into the, the tree line. Let's down these two items and we can walk straight out here, which is kind of cool. Motor there on the floor. You're taking that. Thousand rubles there. That motor at the moment. Um, once we get, yeah, pick up that motor, get out, hand in all these quests, then we're going to be moving to shoreline now. I'd could do a bit of shoreline, could do a bit of, um, um, what do you call it? Little quick cigarettes there. I'm going to quickly have a look here. That gazelle's a big pickup too. Even if I don't need it for the quest, which I know I still do. It's like 80,000 rubles on the flea market, 80,000 rubles, so. Wind's the wind, you know. Oh, there's another motor there. Um, what can we get rid of? That. That. There's fuel there too. Hmm. Don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Ah, this is a really nice top up for the end of the ray too. So we got all 10 scavs done, got lots of quests. We hit level 24, which unlocks more quests as well for a ragman, I'm pretty sure.
And we have a lot of quests to hand in. I wouldn't be surprised is handing in all those quests um, if we don't get level 25 from them. There was a, some big XP quests there. Um, let's go do that first. So as you can see here, we're 49,000 XP away. But when you go to Ragman, um, we have Gratitude, which is 16,000 XP. Uh, Minibus is now a marking quest. With the Jaeger, we had uh, 7,000 XP for killing scavs. And we had another 6,500 XP from this. Uh, this dehydration quest, we can do on another raid. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so that's Ragman done. Mechanic. Oh, we can hand in some stuff here, which is nice. Uh, Peacekeeper, we're still going to go back to customs for that. Form means armed. This, this is one of the other quests we could have done on woods if we were up for it, but it was locked behind it. Uh, a level requirement. Now, this one, we can head to Skier for 180,000 rubles. Or we can head to Therapist for uh, 7,000 rubles. Uh, 70,000 rubles, but 7,700 XP. So, 7,700 XP versus 4,600. Um, now, in my opinion, um, the, the rubles alone is worth it. So, you only lose 0.1 rep with uh, Therapist. Whereas you'd lose 0.3 with gear. So it's not a big deal, um, but something to just take note of. I would go for the 180k rubles for 3,000 less XP, personally. Um, we now have these two. We've got Therapist. Um, this one's a Shoreline Quest. And Prepper, we are now. We're going to open up that. We are now. Um, the 10 scavs already killed. Now he's got to kill 10 PMCs on shoreline just wearing the Bell Clava until they fix the scav vest. Obviously, it'll be eventually both. Um, but XP wise, look, we're only 15,000 for 25. Killing it. That was a really sick raid. Um, all this stuff we're just going to chuck inside here. This is going to turn into an absolute mess. Um, I'm going to hold on to dog tags for a little bit, mostly because we're up to a point where uh, it's punish apart. Six requires 10 of each dog tag, so get them early. Have to worry about that side of things. Um, the condensed milk and that, and all this food, we're going to sell that on the flea market. I'll do that off stream, eh, off, off uh, when uh, you guys are you know not watching because it's pretty straightforward just selling that stuff on the flea market. But yeah, going to be selling all that on the flea market. Um, I definitely want to try and save up for a um, see. So it all good. This is where we're going to be handing in the gazelles and that. I am very tempted. I'm going a little bit off track. That's how my brain works. I am very tempted just to sell this, right? I can make a, I can make 100k just right now. Buy myself a med box, sort that shit out for now, and then later on we can uh, worry about. Um, we can worry about the uh, gazelles, because you know, money is always obtainable. But pretty happy overall. Uh, 220k. We've already, I think, sold that one. But anyway. That's there. Food goes there. Let's just sell these up on the flea market right now. Get thirteen four nine nine for those. Uh, condensed milk doesn't sell for anything for profit. Cola does. Crazy because it's people wanted the holodilnik. Um, uh, what do you call them? The holodilnik food holder things. That's why these are all selling for so much. The um, sugars used in a hideout, a hideout craft. So, all well, that stuff sells for so much. But right there, I'm going back to trying to make the best bang for buck for each of the squares. That's why, you know, holding onto these things here. These are all selling pretty good. Um, those can all be sold. Pretty good money. Now, I don't need these shotguns anymore. But I can sell them up on the flea market. They'll, they'll probably sell pretty quickly, to be honest. But yeah, to sp save space, I could definitely sell that on the flea market. It's not going to be a big deal. Um, but I do have two ready to go. So, I'll have to think about that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode. This is a really, really successful run. Amazingly successful. I'm really happy with that. Get my rhythm back. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down and leave below. Give me a follow over there. Got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, 
I'll see you next time. And I will always kill you now. I can't wait to get into the next raid to kill you.